Joe, could we do a question about transforming a physics problem into a math problem? Um, sure. It's. Do you have one in mind? Physics can go down so many directions, and a lot of physics problems are. Uh, we're working with known equations, models, right? So, we sort of have to take into account what what is known. what we know about a certain situation right so like for example force equals um f equals ma right so force is equal to mass times acceleration one of the most simpler simplest things right newton's second law second law right so that's a formula that we know force of an object is equal to mass times its acceleration so if you want to find out a uh, question would be uh, what's the force of an object? Find force of an object uh, with mass of 15 kilograms accelerating gene at 50 meters per second right then f equals ma would just be oh the force of an object is equal to mass times acceleration and this is going to be uh what is it 75 and the units this is mass is going to be the units is kilograms times meters per second that's what we got the kilo kilograms is the mass and meters per second is the meters per second squared is the acceleration and this unit is called newtons the force of that object is 75 newtons right so as for the derivation of this formula oh my i can't remember the derivation of the formula <laughs> i'm pretty sure i've looked at it but i can't remember it uh, so here's a problem a ball is shot into the air. This is kinematics. A ball is shot into the air from the edge of a building 50 feet above the ground. Its initial velocity is 20 feet per second. The equation is da -da -da -da. Oh, when they give you the equation, it's the easiest stuff. And the question asks, how long until the ball hits the ground? Let's do this. Physics question, when you're given the equation, should be the easiest physics questions that you ever do. So here's, here's the formula that they've given you. The equation is this, um, and that's going to be distance, I believe, right? So the distance, d, is it d? d is equal to negative 16t squared plus 20t plus 50. Is it d? Da, 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 da. its initial velocity is 20 feet per second so something's wrong we need uh... so ball is shot into the air from the edge of the building 50 feet above the ground so here's a building into the air I'm assuming it's being shot like this going like this Building around to velocity of 20 feet per second. 20 feet per second. Uh, the equation is that, and the equation asks how long until the ball hits the ground. To answer the question, you simply need to solve the quadratic equation. But how do we actually derive the formula from the word problem? In the first, uh, the formula from the word problem is driven like the quadratic formula this thing that you're talking about this is the quadratic formula of the simplest the basic quadratic formula of this from mathematics right now these quadratic formulas uh, the that model projectiles a lot of it occurs through observation right so what they do if you've ever sat in a lab uh, in a physics lab what they'll do is they'll uh, 
do projectiles and they have some kind of sometimes flash uh, some kind of light system that flashes and in the background they'll have some kind of sheet with where it embeds the projectile right so once you do that then what you can do if you model this stuff you can throw this on a cartesian coordinate system right let's assume you say oh okay you know what to to make this simple i'm going to put my x and y axis here right so i'm going to make the peak of the thing my uh, origin for the cartesian coordinate system and then you can take points from here x and y take points from here x and y x and y you know x and y and do some algebra to come up with equations for these functions right because from the motion you would say oh this is obviously a parabola right if this is a parabola then uh, general formula for a parabola is a x minus p squared plus q that's the vertex form of a parabola and if the origin is zero zero God, i'm so bad on that draw <laughs> Also, hi, sorry, hi, hi, Judah, how are you doing? Then P and Q would be zero, so F of X would equal A X, right? Oop. A X squared. And then what you can do, you have to calculate your A value. Well, if you want to calculate your A value, all you got to do is take one of these points, plug them in, get your A value, and then your function for this thing would be, oops, whatever the a value is the number x so you get that back and that's your formula and all that jazz right um, a lot of it is through modeling a lot of it is through modeling um, and there are some that are derived right 100 percent from other uh, formulas that we have that we bring in together and say oh this is this this is this is this, is, this is, here's a new formula right here's a new formula gang do not forget what is this called this is called projectiles right first time chat smuggy nine i think we don't need formula for such uh, questions um formulas come in handy and these formulas if they give them to you in the question in physics really easiest questions you can do easiest questions you do okay and gang, do not forget, do not forget. Thank you, Elder God. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, you see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censored.